um, I'll be very brief. Um, we have over the years um, often asked the European Commission um, for a response to the, uh, at that time, draft legislation in Lithuania, um, uh, let's, let's, let's call it the anti-gay laws, because that's essentially what it is. And each time the Commission would say, oh, but you know, there's nothing we can do because it's only in the drafting stage. We can only act once uh, a, a law has been passed and it's actually being applied. Well, we are now in a situation where the, uh, the Lithuanian law on the protection of minors against the detrimental effect of public information, uh, as it's officially called, uh, is actually being applied. Um, and that means um, that certain publications are, are banned. Um, so we asked the Commission whether it believes that this, uh, the, the application of this law is compatible with European values enshrined in Article 2 of the Treaty and with the uh, Charter of Fundamental Rights and what it will do. And then the Commission came back to us uh, after the deadline, that's the reason why it's now on the agenda, um, saying that uh, it, the Commission is in contact with the Lithuanian authorities to verify whether this law is compatible with inter alia, the, sc the uh, scope of derogations under Article so-and-so of the Media Services Directive. I find this, the fact not only that the Commission replies late, but also the fact that the Commission will only assess the Lithuanian law against a particular article of the Media Services Directive, pretty shocking. Uh, this is not a violation of, of one directive or other. This is a violation of fundamental rights. Because what the, the law does uh, is essentially uh, drive LGBT people back into the closet. Um, so I, I would really like to understand why the Commission is taking such a, a minimalist, technocratic and timid approach rather than standing up for uh, the rights of European citizens. Because what I expect the Commission to do ultimately is protect individual citizens and make sure that their rights, as guaranteed by the treaties, uh, are actually material rights, rather than uh, trying not to offend the governments of member states. Because if governments of member states act against the values enshrined in the treaties and violate the rights of their citizens, then it is the job of the European Commission as the custodian of the treaties to protect those citizens and not protect governments that act against the treaties. So um, I'd really like to, to hear the response of the European Commission and I expect the Commission to uphold the Charter of Fundamental Rights in Article 2 and not only the Media Services Directive. Thank you. Okay, thank you, um, Sophie. I'm going to take, first of all, I'm going to take the author, um, Mrs. Lunacek, first. Uh, sorry, I'm going to take the commission. Gosh, you've made that journey and everything. So I'm going to take the commission first, then I'm going to take the author, Mrs. Lunacek, and then I'm going to take members uh, after that. So first, uh, the commission, please. Thank you, Chair. Uh, thank you, Honourable Member. Uh, thank you, in fact, for giving uh, the commission the opportunity uh, to be here and explain what, what we are doing in this field. I think that it is uh, well known to you that the Commission uh, is very committed uh, to combat uh, prejudice, victimization and discrimination against uh, LGBTI people uh, and we are very proud to, to, to uh, do this. Of course, we uh, are committed to act but always within the limit of the powers that the Treaty uh, have given to us. So uh, what can I tell you? Uh, in fact, the Commission um, sent a letter of formal notice to Lithuania last year. Uh, this is why we were explaining in the reply to the, to the parliamentary questions that we were in contact with them. And of course, as you know, a letter of formal notice implies a possible infringement case. And uh, we think this uh, letter from our notice and, and contacts, uh, what we are assessing is indeed uh, the compatibility of this measure with uh, a particular directive. Uh, in the reply to the parliamentary questions, we mentioned 
uh, what are the, the particular ar ar articles in this directive. Uh, and of course, the Commission will assess, uh, as you know, in the context of a possible infringement case, uh, the compatibility uh, with uh, EU law. As you know, uh, this case is, is ongoing, so this is uh, as much as I can say at this stage. Uh, thank you.